Let's take a look at uh, standard normal distributions and specifically for finding values. Now this is a little bit hard to define. Um, you have the other case where you're finding probability or percentage, proportion, or area. If it doesn't say those four, and it's asking you to find a, a value of some sort, find the age that separates the top 30% from the rest. Find the number of pages that separates the bottom 20% uh, from the rest. Find the find the two ages that um, comprise 95% of the data. Uh, so it may be ages, maybe number of pages. It could be anything. Um, it could say find a z-score, which is specifically what you oftentimes see with standard normal distributions. So keep that in mind. Is um, if it doesn't say uh, if it's asking you to find something, um, we're talking about normal distributions, and it's not a graph of some sort and um, doesn't say probability, percentage, proportion, area, then it's probably this one. And you'll be able to tell. If the information they give you doesn't match the what you need for these problems, then that, that indicates right there. Now we've got a flow chart. When you're finding values, um, you'll have problems that will say standard normal distribution, which is uh, what this video is about. Then you'll have ones that will talk about one item. Um, find the Find the score that separates the top 30% uh, of, of ages. And they don't say anything about um, uh, like 30 people or something. And then you'll have the many items where they do refer to like 30, 30 people or 40 pages or, or something. So they refer to, refer to many items in these problems. Now, I don't see this, this type of problem very much in statistics books. Most of them revolve around these first two. But I have seen this in a couple of books where they uh, refer to the, the many items. Okay, anyway, we're taking a look at this value right here. Let's take a look at our first example. Okay, so um, maybe it might say find, and this is assuming this already says standard normal distribution. Find the value. Assuming I can spell here. There you go. Find the value. Separating. Uh, separating the bottom. It's too early. <laughs> I'm try to spell separating. That's bad. Okay, now it came to me. Um, S e p a r a t i n g. Okay, let me uh, redo that. The sun was in my eyes. Uh, is that an A there? I don't know. That's ah, close enough. Um, I'm not an English major. Okay, separating the bottom 20% from the rest. And I won't write all the words out. Well, if we draw a picture. Well, that's telling us that uh, this over here, they're giving us the um, percentage, which is also the area, the probability. So they're telling us this is 20%. Which means this is 80% because it all adds up to 100%. They're asking us to find this value right here. And when we're talking about uh, standard normal, this is actually a Z score. They don't say it but uh, in this example, but uh, that's implied. And um, so we're working with this line right here. And the HP prime uh, wants the area to the left. So it wants us to enter in 0 0.20. Now remember with standard normal, your mean, mu, population mean, is zero. Your sigma, population um, standard deviation, is equal to one. Okay, so let's go uh, plug this in. And um, no matter where you are in your calculator, if you're in apps or if you're in one of these, just press your home button right here. And uh, then we're going to press the toolbox here, bring up the menu. And you want the first one shows math. If you have one of these other ones chose, then click the math. We want 5 for probability. So the notice there's a number in front of the probability. That's the number we choose. Or you can, I think this is a touch screen if you actually got the calculator. I just got the emulator. And then we want the inverse, number 7. And I want to choose normal. Um, so choose 1. Comes up normal D underscore ICDF. That's the inverse. And um, first first parameter it wants is the mean. So put 0 in. 
comma, and then it wants a standard deviation. So put in one, comma, and then the area to the left. So 0.2 or 0.20, whichever one you, one you want to put. Both will give you the same answer. And then we'll press enter. And I'll round it two decimal places. And that gives us negative 0.84. Negative 0.84, and that would be our answer. Okay, let's uh, take a look where um, they're referring to the top. So again, I'll say find a value. Sep. I wish I knew how to spell that. I think it, I think it's A R A, but we'll go with that. Separating the top 30%. And they may give this to you in decimal form, or they may give it to you in percent, but either way you want it in decimal. So in this case, they're giving us the value over here. So they're telling us the top 30% is um, 0 0.30, which means if this is 30%, this has to be 70%. Again, this is the line we're working with, and this is the value we're trying to find. And we always look to the area to the left. Well, the area left of this line is 0 0.70. So let's go uh, use that and plug it in the calculator. Okay, so do my uh, toolbox. Um, choose five for probability. Choose seven for inverse. Choose one for normal. And I want the air or the mean first, which is zero, comma standard deviation, which is one, comma the area to the left, which is 0 0.70 or 0 0.7, and then press enter. And round in two decimal places, that gives us 0.52. And then there's one more case. Sometimes there's variations of the these, but um, with these three examples, you should have all of them. So find the values. Separating, yeah, that looks better. Separating the middle 95% from the rest. Now we'll write all the words out. So here what they're giving us is they're giving us the amount in the middle. So they're telling us that's 0.95. Well, if 95% is in the middle, then we got 5% split among the two tails. So this will be 0 0.025, and this will be 0 0.025. And we got two values to find now. We got this one, and we got this one. So let's find this first one. I'll label this as Z1, and I'll label this as Z2. Now, if I look at the area to the left of this Z1, it's 0 0.025. So let's go plug in 0 0.025. So do my um, toolbox, choose um, 5 for probability, choose 7 for inverse, choose 1 for normal. And I put in my mean, which is 0, comma, standard deviation, which is 1, comma, and then the area to the left, which would be 0 0.025. And then press enter. And I'll round it two decimal places, and we get negative 1.96. Now let's find this other one. For this other one, I'm working with this line, and I want to add up all the area to the left. So if I add up all the area to the left, I got 0.025 plus 0.95, which gives us 0.975. So 0.975 is what we're going to use in our, our function. So I'll um, do my toolbox, choose um, 5 for probability, choose 7 for inverse, Choose one for normal. Put in zero for the mean, comma, standard deviations one, comma, 0.975. And then press enter. And we get a positive 1.96. And those would be our two values. 
Now you don't see it uh, very much in um, in this this particular case, the standard normal distribution. But sometimes you have to figure out uh, where does that percent go. It doesn't always uh, go along these lines. When I say here, find the value separate in the top 30 percent. Think of runners. If I drew a bell curve here, this is how long it takes you to run a mile. Uh, maybe it takes me to run uh, to run a mile. Maybe it takes me uh, three hours. I'm not in very good shape. Um, <laughs> somebody else, maybe it takes them 15 minutes. So 15 minutes uh, is actually better. Uh, three hours is not good for running the mile. Um, not that I can run, but um, let's assume we assume I can. So here, when they say the top 30%, they're saying that 30% is over here because this is where the top runners are. And then this would be 70%. Um, most of the times when you're talking about standard normal, they keep it pretty... Um, pretty basic where you don't have a lot of words and so forth that's more when you get into these two items you have to really think uh, wh where should it go what do, what does these words really mean and unfortunately each one's different you have to read it and see now probably 80 percent of the time 90 percent of the time if it says top 30 percent you put 30 percent on this side but there'll be a few especially like in running uh, problems where you have to put it on this side now in this video we took a look at uh, finding values um, given a standard normal distribution on a HP uh, prime uh, calculator.